Stella. What is the problem? I had a dream. So is that why you shouted Stella? Because I saw her in my dream. Tell me about it. Someone tied me on a tree and set fire to it. I was born in and I needed help. So Stella came to my rescue. As she was untying me from the tree in the fire, the fire was also burning in her hand. You came from somewhere and you stabbed me at the back. But the knife did not penetrate. That was when I woke up. What did you eat last night before going to bed? I ate the food you cooked for me. Next time, don't eat anything before going to bed. I don't think that is the reason for the dream. So what else could make you have such a ridiculous dream? That dream looked so real. I even saw Larry, but he couldn't do anything. He was looking at me from afar, with tears in his eyes. Go back to sleep, Joe. You were just imagining things. I don't think so. I know what I saw. I think we should shift the wedding closer. But we shifted it already, from two weeks to one week. And now you want to shift again? One week is still too far. Anything can happen anytime. Now that you've started dreaming about Stella, let's get married once and for all. Yes, I dream about Stella. That doesn't mean I have feelings for her. I am not saying you have feelings for her. So when do you think we should shift it to? Tomorrow should be better. After all, it is a court wedding. No, I don't agree with you. Tomorrow is too sudden. I make the decisions here, so you do as I say. I am sorry. I am not doubting that. But I think tomorrow is too sudden. What about all the people we invited? Just five people. We can still do it without them. No, I don't think it is nice that way. We can't keep on changing dates. I have believed the schedules for every day. Why is it bothering you? These five people you are talking about, it's not like you have seen one of them. They are my friends. I will tell them myself. I don't like this idea at all, but your wish is always my command. Good. So get ready. We will be married tomorrow. Please, can you at least give me from now to tomorrow? Let me arrange myself. We can shift it to a day after tomorrow. Oh my god, I thought you had finalized this. I am sorry, please ma. Let it be a day after tomorrow. Okay then, that is the final date. Yes ma, thank you. Now go back to sleep, it's still midnight. Okay my love, sorry ma. Why do I feel this way? As if something bad is about to happen. Hmm, maybe I'm just being paranoid. I have to see Baba first thing tomorrow morning. I am back. Why is your face like that? Dad, from today. Hey, hey, calm down and talk to me. This isn't a coming down matter, Dad. From now on, I don't want to hear anything about Sylvia in this house. Your wife to be. Dad, I don't want to have a wife to be. I don't ever want to hear that name. Why? Can you believe Sylvia has been dating my business partner all this while? What? I don't believe that. I saw her today. She came to meet us when we were at the bar today. They have been dating for a while. She was shocked to see me. I can't marry her. She has been cheating all this while and say planning wedding. Don't worry, I will talk with her mom. There would be no need for that. Just calm down, son. My daughter, you are welcome. Thank you, Baba. What brings you to my shrine today? Baba, I don't feel happy. What is the problem? Of recent, my fiancé has complained too much about body pains and headache. He would wake up in the middle of the night and shout his ex fiancés name. He would claim he had a bad dream. Baba, what is really going on? <sighs> my daughter, my mouth is too heavy to talk. Baba, what is going on? <sighs> That girl you told me to strike with blindness is making things difficult for me. Who? Stella? Stella has no supernatural powers. What are you talking about? I don't know how to explain it to you. She prayed day and night for him. He would have 
have been free a long time ago. So I decided to use my own personal power to keep him under control. That love portion doesn't work anymore. What? Where did Stella get such power from to destroy the champ? There is no time to ask questions. Very soon, I will no longer be able to keep him under control. So what do you advise I do? Kill her! What? Why are you shouting? It's not like you value her life. Baba, I'm sorry. I won't be able to do it. I may be wicked, but I'm definitely not a killer. The choice is yours to make. Like I said, his body is on fire. To be set free, it's very difficult for me to control him. So what will be my gain for killing her? His spiritual life is very weak. It will be very easy to manipulate him without her in the picture. But you said you can't kill her because of the force surrounding her. So how do we do now? That is your task. You need to kill her. If not, <laughs> she won't stop until he is free. Oh my God. I don't even know where to start from. Start from somewhere. You have to do that or else she will get in your way of marrying him. That is not a problem. The wedding will be held tomorrow. Good! But make up your mind fast. Time is not on our side. I will, Baba. I have to go now. Have you forgotten? I told you that the love portion stopped working. So I used my powers to keep him under control. That is not my business. I didn't tell you to give your powers, Baba. I don't have money to give you. Young woman, don't try me. My money is 50,000 naira. That wasn't part of the agreement. You can't just do what you feel is right and expect me to pay you. You ungrateful woman, I should have left him there to come back to his senses and chase you out of his house. I'm sorry, Baba. Money is not my problem, Sha. All I am trying to say is that you should inform me of anything first before doing it so I can know what I am paying for. It's okay. My money is 50,000 naira. I will give you 100,000. Go home and I will hand you the rest. Thank you, Baba. Hello. Hello, baby. Who is this, please? Baby, so you don't even remember my voice. I have been calling with my number. It wasn't reachable. You blocked me or what? Why should I answer that? Baby, I... By the way, why are you calling me? I'm really sorry, baby. I'm sorry I never told you. I don't have any feelings for Caleb. It's my mom and his dad that's planning the whole thing. And you couldn't tell me? I'm sorry. Please stay away from me from now. I will think about everything and get back to you. But I need space for now. Baby, please. Trust me, I don't have... I don't want to hear it. Just don't call me again. Babe. Hello? Hello?